this is Nikki. Welcome back to our channel. Obviously, Adam's not here with me right now. He's actually at work. Um, sorry if my camera's a little tilted. Our tripod actually broke, um, so we have to go get a new one. But anyways, I thought I'd make a video while I'm home by myself for once. Um, so this is just a short little story time of how me and Adam are where we are. Um, I don't know if we've mentioned it in a few other videos that currently we currently we live in South Carolina. We are from Massachusetts. Um, if you guys don't know, we live with his family right now. Um, we moved two years ago from the north and things weren't always easy. Um, before we moved, his family moved down here, and with a six-month time span, um, we were still living up north. I was still going to college at the time. Um, Adam came back to stay with me because he didn't want to move here just yet if I wasn't going to come, and honestly, I didn't think I was going to move here. It was really hard leaving my family. So after his family moved down here, he came down and he helped them set up and everything and he came back up um, to Massachusetts to be with me and he was living with a friend at the time and I had moved back to my mom's house because I was living with him and his family um, when they lived in Massachusetts. But they decided to come down, um, things happened so they decided to make a move and make a change and that was fine and but I needed to stay up there like I said I was still in school. I had my family, I had my dog at the time, I just couldn't, I couldn't get up and leave right away. So I stayed, Adam came back up to be with me and he was living with a friend, which wasn't going that great for him. Um, he ended up losing his job and then he lost his car. Everything's just super, super high up there and I think that's one of the reasons why I did decide to move down here because it was not possible that we could ever make it on our own up there. About five months later after we were still living in Massachusetts and his family was living down here, um, I told him he needs to come back down. He needs to come back down, be with his family, and then we'll figure out what we're going to do from there. So he did. He took a plane and he came down and he was here for about almost two months. And I was still living in Massachusetts, we still talked all the time, we were still dating. Um, and then he had called me one week, this was right before the first week of April, um, and he said he was coming up, he had money, um, he was going to buy a car, and he wanted me to drive down with him. Now at this time, this only gave me like a week to make a decision if I was going to move or not, and I said that I would because it was... The only opportunity I didn't plan on when I did decide to move I didn't plan on moving until like June or July in the summertime after I had finished um, that that schooling for the year but when he had called me I made a decision to go and honestly it was the hardest thing leaving my family I never thought I would ever make that decision um, being states away and just being so far away from them. I didn't think I could ever do that. Even though I've always wanted to leave Massachusetts, I always pictured myself living in a place like this. But just not having my family here is like the most difficult part. I don't think we'll ever go back. Um, it was really tough for us for a while when we were both up there, just me and him. But I know everyone struggles. Um, I know everyone can do it though get their own place, pay for everything. I know I know it's possible. I've seen it. I've seen my friends do it. I've seen people do it. And people who have started from nothing have done it. So I know it's possible. I know it's very discouraging for people our age that um, is trying to work so hard and trying to push and just trying to make ends meet. And I really don't want to jump into something, me and Adam both don't want to jump into something if we're going to be struggling on a day or a week to week basis. That's not fun. You can't enjoy your life. 
it's hard, it gets stressful, then you start arguing, you know, money is probably the root of all evil, I feel like. It's always talked about, it's always argued about for anything. So, a little backstory of me and Adam, I don't think we've quite explained on the channel. Um, Adam's not much of a huge, like, story time teller, but I will tell you guys. So, me and Adam um, met in 2010, later in 2010. We started dating in 2011, so that was seven years ago. Um, so we've been together practically for seven years. We just got married last August, August of 2017. So we haven't even been married a year yet, but we've been together for many, many years. A very long time. I feel like when you meet somebody, um, of course it takes, you know, a while to get to actually know that person. I don't think I could have married Adam after three years. I mean, three years was so long ago for us, and I didn't know him that well. I did know him very well, but I don't think I knew him as well as I do now. But, so, that's why I made the decision to come down here, because it was either we stay together, or we're just gonna let it eventually die out, and that's to, that was getting to the point of right before he came back up, and I drove down with him. So, um, so looking back two years ago, to the point where we are now, even though we don't have our own place, I feel like we are in such a better place than we were two years ago, and I, I thank God that, you know, we, we got our stuff together and we're doing a lot better than we were and I'm just so f very hopeful for the future that you know in another two years I'll look back and we'll probably be in our own place by then and you know look back on the two years from now and just say wow we we did it you know we're we're you know each year is a progression like I feel like each there's a lot that can happen in a year I get it but I just feel like even if you're at a low point, I feel like, think into the future. You're going to be looking back at that low point and say that you made it, that you you did it and you overcame that obstacle in your life. And um, I just think that every everyone should be hopeful in um, future plans. And if you want to do something, do it. I mean, there's... I just feel like you should take chances, and if it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out. I mean, my family always told me, you're young, if you feel like moving is the best decision for you, take the chance, and if it doesn't work out, I could always go home, and I knew that, and um, thankfully it did work out, I'm still here, but um, I just feel like when you are given opportunities in life, take the chance, because even if it ends badly, at least you know that you tried, and... Um, if it works out, then great, you know, you're, you're going to be glad that you took that chance. So anyways, um, I'm kind of rambling, but that's just a little backstory of where we came from. Again, um, what we're looking for in the future and, uh, we're looking for forward to making good videos for you guys, putting more content out there. Um, this channel is probably going to be a lot of all over the place, and I'm sorry. I know a lot of people on YouTube have this whole thing of your channel needs to be based on one thing, you know, vlogs, or is it challenges, or is it pranks, or is it uh, gaming, or is it building stuff, at, or do it yourself. No, I mean, honestly, me and Adam are very, very different from each other. Um, we're almost the complete opposites, which is crazy how this all worked out um, for the both of us and how we're just so compatible with each other. I mean, we're best friends. Um, he likes to build stuff. He likes to make things. He likes to be creative, where I like, I, I do like to just film myself, like, talking like this to you guys. I do. Um, I also... I want to do pranks, he won't, he doesn't even want to, and I feel like if I did do one, he'd probably get really mad, um, but who knows, maybe I'll, I'll do a couple, we'll see. Um, the challenges are really fun, I think, he enjoys them just as much, and I think it's, um, it's just a great way for us to hang out, and just, like, be funny, and be silly, and 
everything. We also have a few videos of him making things. Um, we have the Hydra Jippin' video that was really awesome. It was actually really cool for to see how things were hydro dipped um, in the plastic wrap that we got, so go check that out. Um, and we just dropped a video of the Japanese polished um, aluminum foil ball that is actually going big on the internet right now. It's this new thing that just came out and Adam really, really wanted to try it, so he went and made a video and he did it, and it actually came out really awesome, so go check that one out. So this channel is not going to be just vlogs, it's not going to be just challenges, it's going to be a little bit of everything. And I don't want anyone to think like, well, you shouldn't have this, or you shouldn't do this, or you shouldn't do that. I mean, this is our channel. We plan on doing a lot of different things, and we're going to continue to do a lot of different things. We might even throw a little gaming into our channel. I mean, I'm not much of a gamer, but there are a few games. Um, we have the Switch and we have the Xbox. There's a few games on both of those that I love to play, and me and Adam play almost every single night, so we're going to try and live stream that, or at least make a video of gaming with that. Um... Because it's really fun, and, it, and I don't feel like we have to be set to one thing. I think we can do many different things with this channel, and I hope you guys just, you know, like our stuff and um, connect with us, and, you know, that's what we're here for. We're here to put out good videos for you guys. We're here to um, just connect with everybody, and, you know, I hope that making this video that I connected to some people with the whole you know, how life goes, this is how life is. Like I said, Adam's at work all afternoon, um, or else he'd be here. I'm actually home by myself right now, so that's why I'm filming. Um, um, I also have made a Twitter and an Instagram account that you guys can go follow. The link will be in the description. Um, so yeah, that's just a little backstory of us and what has been going on and everything and, and what this channel is going to be about. Um, again, thanks for the support. Um, leave a like, a comment, subscribe to our channel. We'll be putting out more videos. We'll probably be putting out a challenge. Um, within the next, like, week, we have a few ideas. Um, if you have any, any ideas, you know, comment them below. Again, thank you for watching, and we hope to see you soon. Bye!